Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Thanks for coming back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Today we are back and making a quick video today, of course. And just as a quick update, Tuesday I know there was no video. Our apologies for that. We were actually on vacation at the time. It was awesome, but now it's time to get back to business, pump out some more content for you guys and get you guys the information you need to know to be taking the best care of your chinchillas as possible. And guys, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than usual. I know that a lot of the videos on this channel are typically of me and Chili inside of the playpen doing something or us two interacting together. But since I just got back from vacation, my time was a little bit limited. So these next few videos that'll be coming out today, so Thursday, next Tuesday, are gonna be a lot more footage of her interacting on one end of it and then me presenting the information kind of as a voiceover type feel while she's interacting so still the same amount of valuable content same same concept just a little bit of a different feel so that you guys that are used to this channel don't get all weirded out that it's completely different than usual that is the reason why i just didn't get her out and get in the playpen with her i had other things to do but She'll still be on camera. You'll still get the information you came for. And guys, today's video, what we're gonna go over is a pretty important topic. If you're a chinchilla owner, or if you're thinking about getting a chinchilla soon, and why it's important is it directly impacts their health. It can cause huge issues if you're not educated on it. And it's all about chinchilla stress. So what I wanna cover about chinchilla stress is kind of a three prong overview of stress so what causes chinchilla stress as one how to recognize if they're stressed as two and then once they are stressed what do you do about it as number three that's what today's video is all about so stick around for just a second we'll be right back All right, guys, check it out real quick. As always, if you guys are enjoying this content, if it's been helpful to you in any way or any fashion, if you like seeing chili on camera or just a chinchilla running around in general, be sure to give us one of those thumbs up down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment letting us know what kind of videos you wanna see moving forward so that when we're sitting around struggling to figure out what you might want to watch we don't have to try that hard because we'll have your comments down below on what kind of questions you guys have and like we've been doing in all of the recent videos if you are a follower of this channel i've been mentioning it a lot make sure that you are going to planetchinchilla.com check out the website and more importantly if you're a new chinchilla owner you need to go check out planet chinchilla's new ebook it is a pdf download it works on any device doesn't matter if you're using old school iPhone 5, new iPhone, iPad, computer, download straight to your device and lets you read the entire ebook. It has tons of valuable information in it. The URL should be at some point here displaying across the bottom of the screen. I will also put a link in the description below and you should also see a tag to be able to click to the link for that ebook somewhere up above me here. I'm not sure where it will be. And then if you are currently watching this video, feel free to use promo code CHINCARE50. So it's C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E-5-0 for 50% off that ebook. It shaves $5 off of it, taking it from $10 down to five. It is a newer ebook. I highly recommend it and think it'll help a lot of you out. But for now, let's go ahead and start diving into the topic of chinchilla stress everything that I think you need to know about it to make sure that you are providing the best care possible for your chinchilla. All right guys, so when it comes to chinchilla stress, the first thing that you need to recognize if you're a new chinchilla owner or if you've even owned a chinchilla for a while now is there's several things that can cause the stress. Okay guys, so like I was saying, you have several different factors that can cause stress with the chinchilla so it's obviously important to understand what those are but for a new chinchilla owner most of them are going to be pretty universal and the first one is them just not recognizing you so it's important that you use tools such as 
the playpen or you just take the time to talk to them and get them used to you because in the beginning if they fear you that's going to be one of the primary causes for stress especially if you're trying to overhandle them so in those situations you know things like chasing them around trying to get them back into the cage them not being fully warmed up to you or them just being in that new environment in general can be primary causes for them to get stressed out relatively quickly and coming up here we're going to discuss why that can be such a problem with chinchillas so you need to be able to recognize that stress what it looks like and then obviously how to calm them down but in a nutshell in a quick summary you know the things that stress them out the most is going to be you know chasing them not trusting you other people you know over handling them or even yourself them not being used to the new environment or the temperature being too hot which i'll touch on here shortly as well okay guys now that we know what can potentially cause that stress to our chinchillas now we need to understand that we might have made a whoopsie been the one that caused the stress now we need to figure out how to recognize it if they're displaying some kind of behavior letting us know that they are stressed so that we can take active steps to fix it or not to cause that stress in the future all right guys so if you have a good feeling that you have stressed out your chinchilla already you need to know kind of what you're looking for or what behaviors they might be displaying and the most common would be from my experience they will be scared and hiding from you they might push themselves up in between things such as if they're in their cage and they get stressed out they might kind of wedge themselves between the hiding box and the cage bars and you will definitely usually notice something like labored breathing they'll be breathing a little bit heavier you can see their stomach you know contracting the air and it's easily easily noticeable that they're stressed out in that situation and then you know if you stress them out during a situation where you're trying to pick them up they can slip their fur in a worst case scenario they may even you know bite i've never had that happen but i know it is possible and they have you know people do say that they'll spray urine so th that's another thing to look out for if any of those are happening you need to take active steps to calm them down regain some trust and get them comfortable with the situation before you continue attempting to do whatever you were doing at that time all right guys so so far in the video we now know what causes the stress how we can recognize that stress with our chinchillas now we need to understand a few of the little things that we can do to help calm them down in order for that stress to be relieved so it doesn't escalate into something else. All right guys, so let's assume that your chinchilla is already stressed out, you're aware of it, you've noticed one of those symptoms that I discussed previously, like they're hiding from you, they might have sprayed some urine, slipped some fur, or they're breathing heavily, or they're just not acting like themselves what do you do and how can you fix this in the best fashion possible and the best explanation i can give you on this guys is just to relax take a breath back off of them a little bit if you were trying to handle them when it happened stop trying to grab them don't try and hold them for a few minutes you know just sit in that playpen with them sit in whatever chinchilla proof room you have available with them and let that interaction come to you let them calm down a little bit and then you know soon maybe not today but soon they'll be jumping all over you they will get used to you they will get used to the environment but once they're in that stressed out phase or state of mind you can't just try and pull them right back out of it they need to go through their emotions to calm down and if it's due to something like heat like they're overheating which shouldn't ever be a concern as long as you're staying within those proper temperature guidelines which is usually depending on where you live 75 degrees Fahrenheit or under with low humidity levels but if you don't need to do anything medically for them such as cooling them down then you just need to chill out let them calm down perhaps take them back to their cage for the night there will be a tomorrow you know let it go leave it alone don't force anything during these situations don't make them be held longer than they want to don't chase them to get them back into their cage you know use other tactics like waiting for them to come into their dust bath use a travel cage do whatever you need to do but do it in a calm fashion don't rile them up more because then you can lead to other problems such as full-blown heat exhaustion or you could just start damaging the bond 
between you guys and clearly none of us want to do that with a pet we just adopted so in a quick summary or the easiest way to explain it if if you stress them out or some outside stimulus stresses them out remove those stimulus from the environment in case it was a you know a kid screaming or another pet in the house let them calm down let that interaction start coming to you instead of forcing it get them back in their cage you know let them cool down reset their minds and try again another day and learn from the mistake now you know next time that trying to grab her or him too many times is just a no-go all right guys as always we appreciate you greatly for coming to the channel we appreciate all of our subscribers we appreciate all of you who go to planetchinchilla.com be sure that if you're not a subscriber now you go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel down below always feel free to drop questions or comments we are always happy to answer them we love it when you do ask those questions we love responding to the comments we want to hear from you so make sure that you are doing that and again guys make sure you go check out that ebook head over to planetchinchilla.com Again, the link will be down in the description below. And then on planetchinchilla.com, in case you missed the link or you missed the tag above, you can just go to ebook downloads once you arrive at planetchinchilla.com. It will be right there for you. If you're watching this video, you do get the opportunity to use that Chin Care 50 promo code. That will get you 50% off of the ebook. We hope you enjoy it. We love that you guys are coming to the channel. Subscribe. And we will see you guys all next Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by and take care.